Well, good day, YouTubers, and you join me on the main service road and approach uh, to Garstang Marina near the town of Garstang over there in Lancashire. And uh, I mean, I could think of worse places to uh, be on lockdown. It's certainly very pleasant here. A um, little bit of greenery, and uh, it's nice watching the rabbits. Um, Firstly, I just want to say uh, a big thank you to every one of you on uh, Facebook and Twitter and here on YouTube um, for all your questions um, about how I'm doing. Um, yeah, I've been quiet for a week. I uh, took the decision to just have a complete holiday from everything. So I've spent the week just lying low, uh, going for a walk each day shopping when needed. I've been reading a book, um, Brave New World. Um, and what else have I done? I've played my guitar for a bit, watched quite a few films which have had uh, a common theme, that of time travel. I watched Predestination, Deja Vu and Source Code, which I, Source Code especially I thought was very, very good. Incredibly good film. Um, and I've been playing computer game, uh, Frontier Elite um, Horizons, which is the old uh, space trading game. Strangely immersive and uh, distracting. Um, but yeah, as I said uh, in the previous video, I'm uh, going to, in the words of ACDC, I was thinking, um, get the drone up there. So uh, let's get it up as... Uh, Brian Johnson likes to sing, or did. Well, firstly then, need to uh, drop the aerial down on the remote control and fire up the remote control. Here we go, let it boot up. Don't know if you can see that, it says DJI. But I'm going to run the screen recorder on this and capture the screen so you see exactly what I see through the drone camera. Right, so now I need to power up the drone. And for that, it's just a quick double press and hold. One, two, press and hold. The camera's going through its cycle. And that little tune tells me we're ready to go. Right. First thing I'm doing then is I'm starting the screen recorder from the remote so you can see everything that I see on the remote control. And uh, I'll put that in the bottom left, it should be there right now. And I'm also, what else am I going to do? I don't know, I'm just making this up as I go along. Right, so we'll tap go, which will join to the uh, connect to the drone. There's moi. And I'm going to start the camera on the drone recording, which um, should be the main uh, thing you're seeing now. And in the bottom right, I'm going to put what you're seeing on this camera here, which should be me. You have to check so many things, you know, when you're doing these things. Right, so the drone's recording. I have 96% flight battery. So let's get going. Controls down and to the right. Remote control says ready for takeoff. And uh, let's just lift off a bit. It's beeping away because uh, I'm stood here, one of the sensors. Now right, let's. Uh, And here we have the marina. We'll just move back a bit. I like to protect people's privacy. Et voilà. 
quite a uh, quite a superb location. This is the first time I've done this. First time I've seen the marina from the air. As you can see, it's very rural. Right in the uh, right in the middle of nowhere. Well, next to uh, Garstang. But we'll have a look around the uh, the general area of the marina first. Very nice. So what we'll do, I'll whip across in this general direction here, but sideways. Here we go, and we'll just get whipping along. And this here is the marina. Some chalets there. It's getting a little more height. And right below us is the Lancaster Canal. Let's have a look down. Yeah, there we go. And I'll just go along a little bit more then. Quite incredible. It's uh, very surreal. Yeah, look at the patterns on the uh, on the field there of the tractors. Gain a bit more height. The maximum is 400 feet, though it will go higher. But maximum flight altitude reached. It will go higher, but the regulations say 400 feet. So I've set the remote and the drone to that height. Quite incredible. Right. Well, that is Garstang Marina, and uh, also the Lancaster Canal. I'll just turn around a little bit. Very nice. Okay. Shall we go along a bit more? Yeah, why not? Why not indeed? We'll just have a look, see what's below us. Just fields. Empty fields. Okay. Quite incredible. And to the right of Garstang Marina is Bridge House Marina uh, and Caravan Park. Rather nice indeed. And it's an absolutely beautiful day. Well, let's, uh, let's get back around. I'll go back across these uh, uh, fields. And we'll have a look, um, we'll point the drone in the direction of Garstang. Yeah. And well, let's go along the, uh, the Lancaster for a bit. So, yeah, over there, well, west, which is roughly that way, is uh, the Irish Sea. The coast is not far over there, really. And heading north, so right in the distance that you can't see, is Cumbria and the Lake District. But yeah, the uh, Lancaster Canal, it just goes on and on. We'll zoom in a bit there. 
on she blows. There we are. Right, I shall zoom out. Reset the camera. So that I know I'm pointing in the direction that the uh, camera's pointing. And, uh, yep, yeah, we'll come back. So I'm going to whip along here. What I'll do is I'll put it in sports mode, actually. And then... We've got maximum speed. Let's see what speed we get. 40, 39.3... I'm going into the wind, so I did get around about 40 mile an hour then. But now we're rocking. Look at that, 41.6 miles an hour. Let's get the uh, let's lose some altitude. In sports mode, it turns off the avoidance detectors and uh, becomes a lot more manoeuvrable, too manoeuvrable. So I'll now put it back into position mode. And we'll get we'll get some altitude out the way. Here we go. Here she comes. Yeah, getting a bit of a uh, bit of gardener's nose, eh? Yeah, as me granddad used to call it. Here she comes. Look at that, eh? What a machine. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> like it. Right, let's um let's go and have a look. At Garstang. Right. Oh, there. Can you see that on the camera? Yeah. What I'll do, whew, just for a bit of fun, we'll uh, see the sensors. It's, de it's detected the camera and it won't go forward any more at all unless I turn off and put it into sports mode in which case I'll have to be very careful because it the sticks lose all their maneuverability all their fine control there we go look at that incredible right let's uh, I'll put it back into position mode and we'll uh, And we'll go and have a look in this field. Right, let's get some height. What are we doing? There's the road, so I'll go forward a bit. About here in the field should do it. There we go. Right. Okay. This is Garstang. There's the very edge, I believe that's um, the caravan park. Maximum flight altitude reached. Maximum flight altitude reached. This is the first time I've seen Garstang from this point of view. It's, um, it's amazing when you see these towns, just how defined the, uh, you know, like the barrier is. I won't fly over the actual town because uh, that's illegal. Um, you can do if you get special permissions. There's no such thing as licenses with drones. You get permissions from the Civil Aviation Authority. And uh, as I've said before, I'm training for my permissions, which is why this won't be monetized. This is purely for entertainment. Yeah. So what have we got here? Hmm. 
Well, by there, with that car park, is Aldi. And where is Booze? Booze should, well, Booze is basically right next doors. Where is it? Ah, or is that Aldi? And the other one, Booze? Oh, I don't know. But anyway, that's where I walk to when I go shopping. I go right along the canal. Along the towpath. There's the humpback bridge. And then you go walking all the way along, or along the road. But the canal's often a good way to go. You go all the way along there. And then down the main road. This is the way to find Aldi. Right. Yep. So that's Aldi. And that's booze. Yeah, it all looks good. Yeah. Eh? Well, I'm keeping a very long way away. The pictures, um, you know, it, people, people are just dots in the distance. <sighs> There's always one. I mean, in times like this, when you can't do much, you can't have anything in the way of... Uh, you like fun, you try and do one thing and somebody comes along and pisses on your campfire. Just It just destroys any enjoyment that you derive from what you're doing. Straight away, you've got privacy. For sake. Right, yeah, uh, just a, a gentleman on the marina concerned about privacy even though as you've seen in the shots um, I'm a very long way away as I said at the beginning of the video if, you know, as I took off I was gonna keep quite a way away um, from uh, from the place so you know as you can see you don't really uh, you don't really make much out but uh, there you go. Right. Yeah, that certain individual has uh, destroyed my enjoyment of the whole thing. So I'm going to land and we're going to end it there. Yeah. I used to get this all the time with street photography, which is uh, why I stopped uh, Why I stopped doing it. And there's always somebody that wants to pick on your campfire. Right. Where are we? There we are. Right. Let's get her down. 147 feet. Oh yeah. So, thank you to Amanda, uh, who's one of the owners of the marina, for giving me permission to do this. It's most appreciated. <laughs> right. There we go. I'll get out of the way. And then it can come into land, can't it? So, yeah. There's always somebody. And there you have it. Right. So, uh, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed watching. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to call it a day now. Cheers for now.